What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim video here on the channel. So in this one we're going to be doing the quest called Chasing Echoes. Essentially what we're doing is that we came on a super secret mission to infiltrate the Volkahar, you know, vampire's castle for this lovely young lady right here. And uh, I say young, uh, extremely loosely, because <laughs> she's a vampire and she's been alive for very, 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 very many years. So, anyways, we came here for her so that we could potentially find her mother, which led us to this room and down this specific stairway, which gives us the opportunity to go to a separate location called the Soul Cairn, which is pretty interesting to say the least. This place is actually very interesting. It's not my favorite, admittingly, but I do enjoy the fact that it's in the game and everything, so there's that. If you're excited for this video, though, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, let's jump right into this. All right. Ah! That hurts. Right. That was painful. Uh, it was. What happened? Now that I think about it, I should have expected that. Sorry. It's hard to describe. The Soul Cairn is... Well, hungry, for lack of a better word. It's trying to take your life essence as payment. Uh, so there's no way in? Pretty much? There might be, but I don't think you're going to like it. Vampires aren't counted among the living. I could probably go through there without a problem. Are you saying that I need to become a vampire? Not your first choice, I guess. There has to be another way. Maybe. We could just pay the toll another way. It wants a soul, so we give it a soul. Yours. Wait, what? Wouldn't that kill me? My mother taught me a trick or two. I could partially soul trap you and offer that gem to the ideal masters. It might be enough to satisfy them. It would make you a bit weaker when we travel through the soul cairn, but we might be able to fix that once we're inside. Maybe. Uh... Are those seriously my only options? I'm sorry. I wish I knew a better way, something that would be easier for you. Just know that whatever path you choose, I won't think any less of you. Sometimes things just have to be done. I know that better than anybody. Okay, so my options are to stay as a werewolf and go down there, mind? basically soul trapped and become weaker or become a Have you made up your mind? vampire. So I think for now, um, have you made up your mind? Would you shut up, Saran? I'm thinking. I think. So, huh. I'm gonna Have you made up I'm gonna mind? stay as a werewolf. Uh soul trap me, I won't feel right as a vampire. Are you sure? I'm willing to do it, but you need to think it through. You'll remain mortal, but you'll find yourself weakened within the soul care. Oh, this is actually a pretty difficult decision. Alright, screw it. I know this is difficult for you. I hope you trust me. I do. I'll never do anything that could hurt you. I trust you completely, Serana. Thank you. Let's not waste any more time then. I promise to make this as painless as possible. Hold still. Yes, ma'am. Um, it looks like she just did a dance move. Uh, okay, so enter the Soul Cairn. Bum, bum, bum. Look at the sky. Whoa, look at this place. Hold on, let's, uh... Stay at the ready just in case. Look at all these ghosts. Hey! Did you know I visited elsewhere once? What a strange and wondrous place. Congratulations! Who's this guy? Or is it a girl? It's a girl. Stay away from the oblivion gate, I told them. Did they listen? Of course not. Okay, so she's from... From, uh, the Imperial City. Who are you? Are you alive? I must be imagining this. 
You're not. How do I do this again? I don't remember. Is it an arrow? Alright, it is an arrow. Does that open this up for me? Yes, it does. Alright, cool. What is this? Dagger of Embers. That's cool. Uh, I'll leave this here so that you guys can read it. I don't want to read it. Not gonna lie. Greater Soul Jam. Alright. Ha! Huh. Definitely take these arrows. You never know when I'm gonna need them. Those things are creepy. Hi! Shh. I'm watching us. Okay, yep. You're a paranoid person. Where is it? Oh, hello. Let's go. Oh no, come on. I tried it right between his wiener. Face shot. I guess. What is this place over here? And is there anything for me? Let's check it out. I'll talk to that ghost in a second. Would you relax? You little skeleton man. Ah, uh, yeah. All right, gold. Don't mind if I do. I'll take this just to sell it. Uh, oh, another one of these letters. I'll leave this here so you guys can read it. And I'll take the coin purse. I think I've only done that whole book thing once. Go jump. Hello. The screams. They pierce my mind. If you say so. You must help me find my Arvac. He doesn't deserve to be in a place like this. Uh, who's Arvac? Calm down. <laughs> Arvac, my horse. We came to this horrible place together. We were attacked by monsters, so I told him to run. Please, he's such a loyal creature, and he's been running for so long. You have to save him. Um, a place like this will change you. And how would I do that exactly? Arvac, Arvac, where are you? Arvac, please come back, come back. That, that's kind of sad, actually. What's going on? Okay, find Arvac in the Soul Cairn. I. Don't really remember where he's at, to be honest, but who knows, maybe we'll look for him. For now, though, we need to make sure we don't get devoured by the Soul Cairn. Hi, hi, what's your name? Okay, yeah, the other guy said the same thing. Alright, so I'm literally just following. What was that? Wait a minute. Is that Arvac? Honestly, I think I think that was Arvac. Who's this guy? Well, look what we have here. Someone with flesh on their bones. Okay, what's your problem? Let's just say I sold something to a guy who turned out to work for a whole coven of necromancers. How in the name of Xenathar was I to know the ingredients were phony? Do I look like someone that would come across a necromancer? No. So, that's how you got here, I'm assuming? You got it. Horse, wagon, and all. Plopped here without so much as a word. I used to be one of the best traders in High Rock, you know. How people would track me down just to see what I had for sale. Well, that's nice. By any chance, do you have anything left for sale? Very funny. <laughs> and what exactly are you going to pay me with? Take a look around. Gold doesn't exactly win you any friends around here. Uh, there must be something that you want, right? I'll tell you what. I appreciate what you're trying to do, so I'll play along. The only thing I see around here in abundance are soul husks. Uh, you know, those ugly fungus things growing out of the ground. Sure. Bring me, say, 25 of them, and you can rummage through what was left on my cart. Uh, fair enough. 
What do you have, anyways? Odds and ends I've gathered over the years. Well, used to gather, before all of this nonsense happened to me. Tell me what you're looking for, and maybe we can make a deal. If you have the husks. Uh, I don't have them right now, though. No husks, no sale. Guess you have some scavenging to do. If you say so, sir. Is that what this is? No, those are just skulls. Wait. There's another book right here. Alright, same as always. You guys can read this. Just push pause. And, yep. Alright, let's go. I think I have to go into that gigantic building right there, so... Shouldn't be too difficult to get there. The problem is... This place kind of looks like it's easy to get lost in. This looks extremely creepy. And I can't imagine what it would feel like to actually be in this situation. Alright. Where is this taking me? Oh, come on. I kind of hate that I can't jump while I'm sprinting. I don't know, maybe it's just a unique quirk of my game, but I've never been able to do that, period. Hey, wait a minute. Who's that? It's a vampire. Mother? Where's the runner? There you go. Mother. It can't be. Serana? Is it really you? I can't believe it. How do we get inside? We have to talk. Serana, what are you doing here? Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? No, you've got it all wrong. We're here to stop him. To make everything right. Wait a moment. You brought a stranger here? Yep, Have you I... lost your mind? No, you don't... You. Come forward. I would speak with you. Uh, what's your so problem? how has it come to pass that a vampire hunter is in the company of my daughter? It pains me to think you'd travel with Serana under the guise of her protector in an effort to hunt me down. Uh, I mean... No? This is absolutely no ruse. I really genuinely do want to keep her safe. She's a sweetheart. Coming from one who murders vampires as a trade... Only the I ones that kill me. I believe your intentions are noble. Serana has sacrificed everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. I would have expected her to explain that to you. Well, that's why I'm here for the Elder Scroll. You think I'd have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone? The scrolls are merely a means to an end. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Serana herself. Gasp! What does that mean exactly? When I fled Castle Volkahar, I fled with two Elder Scrolls. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's bow. Yes, I've heard. The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the eye of the dragon. So, I'm assuming Serana is the daughter of Cold Harbor? If not, then how does she fit in? Like myself, Serana was a human once. We were devout followers of Lord Molig Ball. Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molig Ball on his summoning day. Few survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Harbor. Oh, damn. Uh, so the tyranny of the sun requires Serana's blood, I'm gathering? Now you're beginning to see why I wanted to protect Serana. And why I've kept the other Elder Scroll as far from her as possible. Are you saying Harkon means to kill her? If Harkon obtained Ariel's bow, and Serana's blood was used to taint the weapon, the tyranny of the sun would be complete. In his eyes, she'd be dying for the good of all vampires. Well, that's rude. I would never allow that to happen, though. What kind of insanity is that to kill your own daughter? And how exactly do you plan on stopping him? Good old-fashioned murder. 
If you believe that, then you're a bigger fool than I originally suspected. <laughs> Don't you think I weighed that option before I enacted my plans? Maybe I'm stronger than you. And what about Serana's option in all of this? You care nothing for Serana or our plight. How would you know? Whether or not you've become one of us in order to survive the Soul Cairn, you're still a vampire hunter at heart. You're here because we're abominations in your mind. Evil creatures that need to be destroyed. Uh, so she believes me. Why won't you? Serana, the stranger aligns himself with those that would hunt you down and slay you like an animal. Yet I should entrust you to him. This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known him than you've done in centuries. How dare you! I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father. Yes, he's a fanatic. He's changed. But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? Good point, actually. If you'd only open your eyes. The moment your father discovers your role in the prophecy, that he needs your blood, you'll be in terrible danger. So to protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about. You never asked me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just expected me to follow you blindly. Good Both point. Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Your motivations might have been different, but in the end, I'm still just a pawn to you two. I want us to be a family again. But I don't know if we can ever have that. Maybe we don't deserve that kind of happiness. Aww. Maybe it isn't for us. But we have to stop him. Before he goes too far. And to do that, we need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Saron. I didn't know. I didn't see. I've allowed my hatred of your father to estrange us for too long. Forgive me. If you want the Elder Scroll, it's yours. Your intentions oh, are still somewhat unclear to me. But for Serana's sake, I'll assist you in any way that I can. Good. Do you have the Elder Scroll with you, for starters? Yes. I've kept it safely secured here ever since I was imprisoned. Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. So what exactly do we need to do? You need to locate the tallest of the rocky spires that surround these ruins. At their bases, the barrier's energy is being drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled here. Destroy the keepers that are tending them, and it should bring the barrier down. Done and done. One more word of warning. There's a dragon that calls itself Dernevere roaming the cairn. Be wary of him. Why? The ideal masters have charged him with overseeing the keepers and will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. Uh, good to know. Uh... How did you become imprisoned here? When I entered the Soul Cairn, I had intended to strike a bargain with the Ideal Masters, the custodians of this place. So that was the bargain, I'm assuming? I requested refuge in the Soul Cairn. And in exchange... I would provide the Ideal Masters the souls that they crave. If I had foreseen the value they placed on my own soul, I would never have come here. Yeah, it's a little late for that, isn't it? So they basically tricked you. The Ideal Masters unleashed their keepers and sent them to destroy me. Fortunately, I was able to hold them at bay and retreat into these ruins. But then you became trapped. Unfortunately, yes. Since the Keepers weren't able to claim my soul, they had their minions construct a barrier that I'd never be able to breach. And now, because of all of your decisions, you've become imprisoned here for seemingly forever? Time has very little meaning to me. Consequently, it has little meaning to the Ideal Masters as well. I suppose you could call this the ultimate waiting game, each watching the other to see which would give in. Well, that's creepy. Why haven't you pursued uh, the prophecy? Harkon's vision is a world plunged in eternal darkness where the vampire can flourish and never again fear the tyranny of the sun. What he fails to realize is how much attention would be called to our kind if the prophecy came to fruition. 
What sort of attention are we talking about? If eternal night fell, there are many who wouldn't stand for it. They would raise armies in attempts to return things to normal. The order of the day would be our destruction, until every last vampire was hunted down and eliminated. So you prefer living in the shadows, essentially? I do. It's how the vampire has survived for millennia, and the only way we can continue to survive in the future. That, that was very insightful, actually. Thank you. Uh, quick question, though. Who are the ideal masters? I know very little about them. They're mystic entities that lord over the soul cairn, controlling every aspect from its fabric to its appearance. And what do they resemble? Well, some necromancers believe they are the crystalline structures dotting the soul cairn. I believe there's more to it than that. How so? I think they transcend what we perceive as a physical form. Perhaps they were once corporeal beings, but they've obviously reached a point where they no longer require a tangible presence. What about the crystals? Conduits, through which the ideal masters speak to their underlings and feed on their victims. Got it. Why would they require substance, though? The ideal master's weakness is their insatiable hunger for pure souls. It's the reason for the soul cairn's existence, and the only leverage a necromancer has when bargaining with them. Got it. Now it's starting to make sense. What do the masters provide in return, though? The ability to summon powerful undead guardians, as one would conjure an Atronach or Daedra. However, the majority of necromancers that are foolish enough to enter into a bargain with the ideal masters wind up here as harvesting souls. Damn, that's crazy. So that explains necromancy in pretty well detail, actually. But uh, to change the subject a little bit, should I leave the Soul Cairn, can I return? As you've been traveling in the Soul Cairn, your body has become attuned to it. Let's just say, a tiny part of you rubbed off on it, and in its place, a bit of the soul cairn filled the void. You should find no difficulty using the portal any longer. Oh, that's cool. Well, see you later. Be careful, and keep my daughter safe. Shut up. Don't tell me how to live my life. Alright, let's go to this one first. I don't know what to expect. I think we're supposed to go there. But I guess we'll find out here shortly, right? This place is largely empty, isn't it? It's super dark. And scary. Hold on, what is this? Um. What was that? Hey, it's Arvac! Come here, Ar where'd he go? Arvac! Oh, Arvac! This guy has cattle with him. Alright. There should be... I think I'm in the area where I can potentially get Arvac. I just need to remember which structure it is. This has to be it. Die. Got him. Oh, snap. That was a close one. Let's go. Let's go, Serana. Let's destroy these stupid little skeletons. Missed, man. <laughs> I must save the horse. Arvac Skull. Return Arvac Skull. Shouldn't I think he's gonna be around here somewhere if I remember correctly? This is him. This has to be him. Hey you, talk to me. Arvac! You saved him! His soul is free, I can feel it! He's such a loyal beast. Here, I'll teach you how to call him to you. He'll help you get around this wretched place. But I'm sure he'd be much happier someplace sunnier. Goodbye, hero. Take good care of Arvac for me. Aw. Such a good horse. See you later, Soul E-Man. 
Rest easy, bro. I appreciate the trust you put in me for your horse. But now I must go and do s stuff. <laughs> Alright, let's go. I'm not sure where exactly I'm going. I'm just going to follow this arrow and hope that it points me in the right direction. I guess I could have just looked at the map, to be honest, and probably looked at what was closer. Why is this guy whispering? Oh, it's Jui! Or whatever. What, do you want? what exactly are you doing? How does anyone expect me to write my opus with all of these rude interruptions? Uh, opus? What do you mean? What do I mean, indeed? If I hadn't lost all of the pages, I wouldn't be in this predicament. And we wouldn't be having this conversation. Uh, okay, well, let's just start at the beginning. Very well. I suppose a moment or two of my time couldn't hurt. Go on. I am Jib. Some call me Saint Jib. Others call me Jib the Eradicator. Perhaps you've heard of me. Uh, fun fact. He's the guy from the very beginning of Morrowind. But yeah, nope, never heard of you. <laughs> I can't say that I'm surprised by your answer. Until I get my second volume published, no one will ever know of my achievements. What are you talking about exactly? A book. I'd hardly call a 26 volume epic simply a book. Surely you've heard of the rise and fall of St. Jim the Eradicator, hero of Morrowind and savior of the Dunmer. Uh... So... How's your work going so far? Terrible. Simply terrible. I was in the midst of writing the second volume, and they just threw me into this prison. It's unfair. Who threw you in here exactly? That damn Ramora and his minions. They didn't even give me a chance to explain who I was. What is Serana doing? <laughs> Alright, so a Dramara, a Dramara, a Dramora captured you essentially? Well, I assume so. It cast a spell at me from some kind of strange black crystal. Next thing I knew, I arrived here. So your soul was trapped. Yep, you're dead. No, all these wasted months, or has it been years? I don't even remember how much time has passed. No, my work will never see the light of day. My name will be forgotten. Could I help you in any way? Perhaps. Do you have a way out of here? No, I do, but unfortunately, you can't leave that way. Maybe I can't leave. My writings can. In order to write the second volume of my opus, I need the notes from my first volume. Otherwise, I need to do all of this from memory. How many pages did you lose exactly? When I was tossed here, I felt myself falling. And I dropped the pages I had been holding. There were ten of them in all. Find them for me, please. I beg you. Ten, I think I found three already. So why would the Dramora attack you? Well, that's a ridiculous question. Everyone traveling through here has said that the Oblivion Gates have been opening all over Tamriel. Wait, that was um just a tad bit before my time. Has it been that long? Just a little bit. Oh my. It started with the followers of Mehrun's Dagon having Emperor Uriel Septim VII assassinated. Yep, I remember. That was Oblivion. With Septim on the throne of the Empire, Dagon was able to leave Oblivion through the gate and attack. That's probably one of my favorite Elder Scrolls games, to be honest. Uh, so, 
Why was Dagon able to do this? All I heard is that without a septum sitting on the throne of the Empire, the dragon fires in a place called the Temple of the One were no longer lit. This meant that we were vulnerable to the forces of oblivion. What ended up happening? I don't know. Everything seemed fine until that Dramora attacked me. I only heard later about the gates from the other souls. I can only assume the gates have been closed by now. They were. Alright, but I'm leaving Thank because Serana is annoying right now. I do don't worry. We'll see what we can do. Oh no. How did that not hit him? No, give me... Die! I just shot him with a wiener. Hey! Well, there's a page right here. That's definitely not what I wanted to take. But I'll leave this here for you guys to read and then I'm taking it. Serana, get out of my way, dude! Girl, you're so annoying. Oh, Grand Soul Gem. Don't mind if I do. Grand Soul Gems are super rare. So that makes four, right? I got four of them. Oh, we're so close. Actually, that's him right there. For Narnia! Let's go. See you later, Keeper. You know what? Let's keep this quiet. Actually, I'll go back into this view. No, get back here. Let's go. His armor's pretty cool, man. That uh, dragon armor. Nice. That's one of the three taken care of. Get out of my way, Serana. Black Grand Soul Gem. Nice. Look how sexy I look. Alright, let's see... Hold on, let's check the map and see what would be the closest... I guess left? I'm assuming this is the closest one. So that's the one we're gonna go to. How about that? This place is so hard to like... Know exactly. Only because it the like the there is no actual world map for this area, so it's a little difficult. And the one that we do have available is uh terrible to say the least. I think we have to go over here. I don't I wish I could remember where all the pages of the book are but frankly speaking yeah I don't remember I'm exhausted look at my stamina let's let it uh fill back up okay I will say this the aesthetics are pretty awesome come on Perfecto. What it? What just found me? Eh, Serana's got it. For now, I'm gonna continue going because I want to kill every single one of these skeletons that professes to be a what are they called? Watchers? I don't know. I should be getting close, actually. Uh, knock, knock. Anybody alive over here? This has to be the building. Let's do a quick save just in case the game crashes. Seeing as the game has crashed a few times in our gameplay, you know? So, yeah, there's that. Found him. Let's go. Come on, baby. 
Dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna destroy him before he even realizes I'm shooting him. See? That was a pretty spectacular, actually. Come on, Black Soul Jam. Yes! Those things can really come in clutch, man. Alright, so where are we going? We have one left. And it kind of seems like we're going to walk through these so-called keepers. They can't even keep their own life. Alrighty. I hope we're not too far. Also, where's Serana? Wait a minute, is this? I think this is where my soul is. Let's go ahead and quick save and walk in. Huh. I don't remember how to get through here though. There's a way. Shut up. I think Serana killed the other one. Hey, be nice. There's still two left. There's a chest at least. Let's take both of those. I haven't really needed. Okay, I'm. I'm tripping right now. So that's the exit. I I want to say I came this way first. So this is where I killed that one guy. So this isn't the way. So let's turn right here. Daedra Heart. Found some soul husks. There's an entranceway somewhere around here that I need to find. It's confusing though. It's literally a maze. Large sack. Nine. Should isn't that enough? Away with you! Nice try there, buddy. There's a book here. Eh, nah. Common Soul Jam, I don't want it. Let's go. We need to find... I think that's it, actually. But let's do a quick inspection of the area. Nope, alright. So let's jump in here. Because this is... Yeah, this is it. This is where I find my soul. Let's search this chest. This is... This is my soul. But also... There's this. I'll leave this right here so you guys can read this. Alright, let's get out of here. Can you stop shooting me? Is that an ideal master? I think it is, actually. So I got my life back. I'm taking the shortcut, because I don't want to go through the whole thing. Honestly, I don't... I think it was ten that the guy wanted, right? To trade? I got nine in that one location we were just at right now, in a chest. So, I should, in theory, have enough, but I'm... I'm just gonna continue picking them every single time I see an opportunity to pick them just in case all right there's got to be an entrance around here somewhere oh, wait hold on no this is where yeah this is where we talk to Serana's mom so that means we skipped one Accidentally, because somewhere in this vicinity over here is where we found Arvac, and then we ran way out that way. So we should have went this way first. It's okay though. We're doing pretty decent progress, and we'll eventually find it anyway. So it ain't no thing but a chicken wing. 
I wonder how far we gotta go though. Also, Serana's like lost in the sauce, so I don't know. I don't even know where she is. I'm not too worried about it though because I still have my summon, my shout. Nice. Got one of them. I don't know where they're at. All right, I need backup. Let's go. You're dead, Bone Man. Or Miss Man. Ow. Someone hit me, though. Who hit me? You did. Those guys look pretty cool, though, admittingly. Dunskies. Did I get him? I got him. Look at me. The absolute monster of a man. Where does this take me, though? I'm not gonna lie, this really creeps me out. I'm just gonna sneak. Also, quick save, just in case. Is Serana behind me? No. Oh, snap. Die! I guess we're gonna be, uh... Going at it until we figure out who's the strongest archer. Yes, Serana's here. No, don't fall. Oh, 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 thank God. Woo! So now we gotta go back and speak to Serana's mom. <laughs> uh, yeah. Alright, how do I get there, though? It's gotta be this building. So those big things are the ideal masters, then, right? I think that's what that is. This is kind of crazy, though, to be honest. But I like it. I think it, I think it's pretty cool, the fact that they're here. And if, if I'm right in uh, assuming that that's what it actually is, that those are the ideal masters, the fact that you at least get to see them, or at least an embodied uh, version of them, to some extent, of course, they're just like crystals, but that's still cool in general. At least I think so. And it's those little details, to be honest, that kind of makes me excited for Elder Scrolls Six whenever that comes out. One day, of course, right? Hello. You managed to destroy all three keepers? Yeah, I did. Very impressive. You underestimated me. Are you able to give us a scroll now? Yes. Please follow me. Keep watch for Dernevere. With the prison's barrier down, he's almost certain to investigate. All right, cool. First things first, I saw the husks. Wait a minute. Oh, never mind. All right, I don't care about any of that. Let's go. Is it gonna auto save? Yes, it is. All right, I was gonna quick save, but I guess I don't need to. Valerica, Valerica, Valercia. I don't know how to pronounce her name. You know, I kind of want to be a vampire now. These guys are pretty cool. Any minute now. You walk so slow, Valerica. Slay, do it. Done. Dern over here. He's here. Oh no! Where do you come from? Let's go. Got him. Die. Oh snap! Maybe we should summon our friend. Let's just do it. Get away from me. Oh no. Screw you, Dernavir. Oh snap. 
Let's go. Does he ever land in the middle? I don't remember. Where is he? There he is. I mean, I'm doing pretty decent here. Hey, why did I pull my thing away? Yes, for me. Oh, God. He's right behind you. Focus your attempts on him. Man, I got four people, including me. Slaying things. I hope he lands again. Come on, baby, let's go. Come on. Oh, snap. I mean, he'll eventually land once I hurt him enough. But I want it to be done now. Hurry up. Alright. Come on, baby. That should... We should be pretty... Oh, there we go. See you later, Dernavir. I am the greatest thing that ever survived. The Soul Cairn. Done. That fight was intense. It was four of us. Can I not loot him? Wow, he's got... Stuff. Hey. Forgive my astonishment, but I never thought I'd witness the death of that dragon. Uh, why do you say that? Volumes written on Dernavir allege that he can't be slain by normal means. It appears they were mistaken. Yes. Go on. The soul of a dragon is as resilient as its owner's scaly hide. It's possible that your killing blow has merely displaced Dernavir's physical form while he reconstitutes himself. And how long will that take, approximately? Minutes. Hours. Years. I can't even begin to guess. I suggest we don't wait around to find out. Now, let's get you the Elder Scroll, and you can be on your way. Thank you. I guess it's safe enough to put this away. Why are you looking at me? Go. Show me the Elder Scroll. Thank you. I guess she just needed a little bit of criticism. I'll take all of that. Thank you. And you know what? I'm just going to take everything. Screw it. I can sell all of this. Look at what I found. Speak to her. Hi. So bring the elders, both Elder Scrolls to Dexion. All right. So now that you've retrieved, uh, retrieved the Elder Scroll, you should now be on your way. You're staying here? I have no choice. As I told you before, I'm a daughter of Cold Harbor. If I return to Tamriel, that increases Harkon's likelihood of bringing the tyranny of the sun to fruition. I mean, if you're cold, just put on a sweater. Uh, we'll return for you when we can. I appreciate your concern for me, but Serana is all that I care about. You must keep us safe at all costs. Yes, ma'am. Remember that Harkon is not to be trusted. No matter what he promises, he will deceive you in order to get what he wants. And promise me you'll keep my daughter safe. She's the only thing of value I have here. Will do. So I'll return to Tamriel. Hell yeah. We managed to get... Uh... Arvac. Defeat Dernvir. And then, ultimately, we got the Elder Scroll. And we got our soul back. This was a pretty eventful episode, man. I, I must admit. I like it. Oh, snap. He's already manifested himself. Stay your weapons. I would speak with you, Quenarin. Quenarin? I thought you were dead. I killed you myself. Cursed, not dead. Doomed to exist in this form for eternity. Trapped between Lars and Enoch. Between life and death. Okay, makes sense. Uh, so... Didn't you just try to kill me? The 
hostility was necessary. I was bound to an oath. So then why are we speaking? I believe in civility among seasoned warriors, and I find your ear worthy of my words. Okay, that's understandable. My claws have rendered the flesh of innumerable foes, but I have never once been felled on the field of battle. I therefore honor name you Quanarin, or Vanquisher in your tongue. Nice, Quanarin. Well, I found you equally worthy, my friend. Your words do me great honor. My desire to speak with you was born from the result of our battle, Quanarin. I merely wish to respectfully ask a favor of you. Um, I suppose, uh, but I guess it depends on what kind of favor that is. For countless years I've roamed the Soul Cairn in unintended service to the Ideal Master. Before this, I roamed the skies above Tamriel. I desire to return there. So, what's stopping you then? I fear that my time here has taken its toll upon me. I share a bond with this dreaded place. James Bond? If I ventured far from the Soul Cairn, my strength would begin to wane until I was no more. Uh, and how could I help? I will place my name with you and grant you the right to call my name from Tamriel. Do me this simple honor and I will fight at your side as your Graze Mazen, your ally, and teach you my food. I will gladly accept that. Uh, just call your name a Tamarail and that's it? You'll just come? Trivial in your mind, perhaps. For me, it would mean a great deal. I don't require an answer, Quinarin. Simply speak my name to the heavens when you feel the time is right. Okay, sounds like a plan. Uh... Alright, later. <laughs> Wait, is he supposed to give it to me? There we go. Curse. Does he give me all three? Yes, he does. Curse never... Dying. Alright, cool. And there's... Yes, Serana. Dernivere looks pretty creepy, man, to be honest. But hey, I'm glad we got him as a companion. Or not... I mean, you know what I mean. A summoned companion like my ghost uh person <laughs> actually this is the first time this playthrough is the first time i've ever used that one summon companion thing uh from completing the quest I've, i usually use like the typical ones like uh like fire breath or whatever i don't even remember the names to be honest Stuff like that, just the regular typical ones. I've never actually summoned anyone. So the fact that I'm using it in this playthrough is actually pretty f interesting to say the least. At least in my opinion. We get to experience something together. I have, uh, uh, though, summoned that dragon before just to see what it does. And I gotta say that was actually pretty cool. Alright. Wait, hold on. You know what we should do? Since we're in the vicinity, we should go see if we can trade with the homeboy over here. Because this is him right here. We're already here. We might as well at least attempt and see what happens, right? Hey, you, come here. Brought some soul husks, or are you wasting my time? Uh, got anything left to sell? I might just be a soul now, but I'm still not going to give my stuff away. Bring me at oh, least 25. 25 husks. And then we'll talk. Well, never mind then. I don't think I have 25 husks. It's a sad, sad day for me, isn't it? Oh well. 
How many do I have anyways? Let's see. Let's grab this one. And then, uh, items. Would it be under ingredients, maybe? Soul husks. Where are they at? Or did I pass it? Uh, no, I didn't. So it's not here. So maybe it's under miscellaneous? One way to find out, I suppose. Soul fragments. How do I find the soul husks? Let's just go to all and then we'll scroll all the way down to S. Where is it at? Man, I have a lot of stuff in my inventory. How can I possibly carry all this? Alright, P-R-S. Huh. Where is it? Soul Husk. Oh, all I need is five more. And then I could trade. I'm very curious about that because I've never... I've never traded with him. Maybe I could get it. I don't know. Okay, there's a couple over here. So I have 20. I need... F oh, there's three. So that's one. No, not, not map. My bad. That should be... F Crap. Okay. Oh, wait. It's right here. So that's 23. All right. I need two more and then I can trade with them. There's one right there. Actually, there's a few of them here. That should be 24, 25, but let's go ahead and grab them all just, just, just for fun. All right, let's go see if we can trade with him now. This is cool because I've literally never traded with him, so let's try it. I got to go like nine miles away, though, to be able to just get to him. But hey, whatever. We're going to learn something together. How about that? Excuse me, sir. I have returned with the desired number of husks. What was that? Oh, it's those anomaly things. Hey, you brought some soul. Of course I do. What do you want? Um, a sword, a battle ask, ask, light armor, a spell tome. I'm curious. Let's go with light armor. Well, I hate to see it go, but what am I well, going to do with it here anyway? That's terrible. All right, whatever. That was a uh, not a very good uh, trade, if you ask me. It's okay. It's okay. At least we were able to find out what that does. Hey, I can see the exit from here. The only thing we didn't do is collect all the pages of the book. Who knows? Maybe in a future video we'll come back. I don't know. Up to you guys, I suppose. I've only done it once where I collected all of the, uh, the pages of the book, so... I know where they're all at. I just need, uh, like a reminder or a refresher. Which shouldn't be really difficult, to be honest. Nice. Now we're out of here. Maybe. There we go. Very nice. And I got a Steve achievement for this. Very, very nice. Well, that's actually going to do it for this video, guys. That was a pretty eventful episode or video here on the channel we managed to do quite a few things and it was pretty fun actually i might i might add i have arvac now we met dweeb or whatever i don't even know how to pronounce his name uh and we managed to get a couple of his pages i suppose 
And then, what else did we do? I don't even know, man. Of course, we've defeated Durnervir, and now we have Durnervir. So, I don't know. We've done quite a few things in this video alone. But, if you enjoyed this video, do me a huge, huge favor. Drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Because it really does help this channel grow. So, with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces. Thank you.